The regular expression editor makes it a little bit easier to work with regular expressions. You can get it from the Visual Studio Gallery. Just search for regular expressions. Make sure you're restricting to Visual Studio 2010 and you'll find it there. You can download and install it. It lets you build regular expressions, gives you a little bit of help, but most importantly it lets you test them without having to run your whole application in order to test your regular expression and lets you save expressions so that you can reuse them uh, on other projects. Let me show you a little bit about how it works. I have an ASP.NET application here and I actually already have run the application under the debugger and if I leave all three of these fields blank and just click the button I have validators on the page uh, which I'm sure anyone who's done any web programming has used these. Let's say these are required fields. Okay, no problem. Fill in some required values. I'm a master of this sort of thing. Now I click the button and now it says email is not in a valid format. So it's not enough just to have filled something in the box. I've actually got some format requirements on them. And those format requirements are in the form of a regular expression validator. And ASP.NET control that makes sure you meet a certain format. And the heart of a regular expression validator is this uh, validation expression. I'm just going to copy it uh, into Notepad because it's sufficiently complicated. It's hard to see in the properties window. Now, of course, anyone can see at a glance that this is how you validate an email address. <coughs> well, okay. It, regular expressions are hard to write and they're hard to read. And uh, they are very powerful, but they're not exactly intuitive or obvious. There's all kinds of brackets in here that's doing some grouping that's saying zero or more of these and one or more of those. The, the backslash W's refer to word characters, which is basically letters and numbers. The at sign actually means a literal at sign. You have to have one in an email address and so on. Uh, Notepad's a horrible tool for building uh, regular expressions in, uh, only slightly better than this tiny little window. I didn't build this regular expression. This dot 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 button built this regular expression for me because the properties window comes knowing certain kinds of uh, regular expressions. Email address, German phone number, uh, People's Republic of China social security number, okay, uh, what have you. And uh, someone sat down and made these expressions up, which is great. But now you may need to write a regular expression that validates um, a student number or an employee number or an order number or any number of strange strings of letters and characters and special punctuation that you use in your application. And uh, it's really difficult to type it all into your code and then run your code, press F5, type something into the box, see if it worked or not, hit stop, change your code. Uh, that's awful. You want to have a much faster debugging experience than that. And so the regular expression editor, which is an extension for Visual Studio 2010, is a much nicer way to work with that. Now it's launched in a kind of an odd way if you're an ASP.NET developer because the entire rest of the world makes regular expressions by actually creating an instance of the regex class. So if I make a new regex class up will pop, just pull it where you can see it, this regex editor. And I can work with this uh, to try to refine or test a regular expression I'm working on. So I'm going to paste that same expression in that we had in the clipboard buffer and hit the more button so we get some place to work. And I can type in an email address and click match, and it matches. These 1, 2, and 3's refer to some of these grouping brackets in the expression. I don't really care what's in them. If I change this email address a little bit, um, change it into a .co.uk, that still matches, so that's good. If I use this expression when I have some customers who are in the UK, it'll still work. If I don't have any dots in there at all, okay, that's not a match, that's a good sign. I can put more dots on this side, and as long as I've got some dots on here, yep, that's going to match. So I can play around with sample data and confirm whether or not the regular expression is going to work. And you can actually use this to build your own regular expressions from scratch. Let's try something a lot simpler uh, than uh, an email address. Let's try a phone number, and our first pass of a phone number might be that it should be three numbers or digits in regular expression talk, followed by a space followed by four uh, d more digits. And this IntelliSense reminding you what these characters are really does make your life a lot simpler when you already have quite a bit on the brain. So if I fill in a possible phone number, hit match, sure enough, that's a match, so that's good news. But then if I add another phone number that has a dash in it, some people write their phone numbers that way, but that does not match. So uh, what I want to do is go up to my regular expression and say instead of a space, I'd like to use square brackets, which is the way you group things, and say I want either a dash or a space, and then I'll end my square brackets. 
and let's see if I click match now. Now they both match. And I could go on to say optionally there'll be an area code, maybe optionally I'll allow some round brackets around the area code and so on. And these things uh, let me slowly, iteratively build a regular expression that's going to work for me. Now, if I'd like to save this, I could call this a uh, simple phone number. And it's going to end up added in with these other uh, saved expressions that I can use. You'll notice that there's already some phone numbers there and some other things that are handy to go looking for. But let's just uh, call it simple phone number for now, say accept. And it is actually put into my code, which is useful. And then if I click while holding control, it brings the regular expression uh, back up again so that I can show you under saved expressions that it's been added here uh, with that title of simple phone number. And then I can go back to continuing to test it and adjusting it and making it work for me. So this is a very powerful way for you to start building in um, regular expressions into the code that you're writing without having to be a regular expression expert. You can explore, find your way around until you get one that works for you and uh, then you've got all that power in your application.